Hi everybody. Welcome to Universe View Odyssey channel. Schrodinger and Wave Equation in Erosa, Alps in the winter of 1925. If Heisenberg's matrix mechanics, one of the two forms of quantum mechanics, is the birthplace of Helgoland Island in the North Sea, Schrodinger's wave mechanics was born in the resort of the Swiss Alps, Arosa. However, while Heisenberg, who had hay fever, went to Helgoland Island for medical treatment, Schrodinger visited Arosa for a vacation to enjoy a secret date. The fact that Schrodinger was with a woman other than his wife when he induced the wave equation in Arosa is a very famous anecdote in the history of physics. Schrodinger is as famous for her flamboyant female biographies as his great academic achievements. In addition to, the Lady of Arosa, he is said to have made passionate love with countless women throughout his life. Schrodinger adored an aristocratic woman at the age of 25, but failed because of differences in status. This wound seems to have caused him to become obsessed with women. Schrodinger, in fact, liked sensational plays from the days of gymnasium, and was absorbed in erotic art that prevailed in Vienna, Austria, during the avant-garde period at the end of the century. He had several children, but his wife, Anne-Marie Bertel, had no children. His first daughter was born to a friend's wife. The friend deeply respected Schrodinger even though he knew his wife had a relationship with him, so he tolerated it. In addition, the friend's wife even lived in the same house with Schrodinger's wife and raised her daughter. What's more surprising is that Schrodinger himself acquiesced even though he knew that his wife was going through a relationship with her friend, the mathematician Hermann Weyl. Come to think of it, Schrodinger's greatest achievements, wave mechanics and wave equations, are difficult to talk about without Hermann Weyl. Schrodinger took the first step in the creation of the wave equation in 1922 after reading Weyl's book, Space Time Matter, then a bestseller in physics. After following Weyl's argument in the book step by step, he noticed that electrons in orbit behave like normal waves. It was in 1925 that Schrodinger saw de Broglie's matter wave thesis. Peter Joseph William de B, then a professor at the Federal University of Technology in Zurich, delivered de Broglie's recent paper to him. Schrodinger, who fell in love with de Broglie's paper, was motivated by Debye's words. There must be a wave equation to deal with waves properly, and immersed himself in the study of wave equations. Schrödinger also studied the statistical thermodynamics of ideal gases in connection with Einstein's theory of gases from 1925. Schrödinger said in a letter to Einstein on November 3rd and to Alfred Land on November 16th that he had read the de Broglie's paper closely and now fully understood its meaning. At this time, Schrödinger thought that moving particles were nothing more than a kind of bubble that rose above the radiation waves that made up the foundation of the world. From Christmas Eve 1925, Schrödinger, who invented the wave equation while enjoying a secret date with the Lady of Arosa at the foot of the Alps, first came down the mountain and was none other than his wife's mistress and friend, Whale. With the help of the mathematician Whale, he finally solved his equation and obtained a wave function, written in the Greek letter psi and read, psi. The wave equation created by Schrödinger is an equation that describes the specific shape and progress of the wave of matter, normal wave, around an atom. Through the concept of matter waves, he was able to compare one steady state of an atom with a normal vibration of a certain limit, for example, a vibrating string. In this case, the amounts that were normally thought to be the energy in the normal state appeared as the frequency of normal vibration here. The results that Schrödinger obtained using this method were very well matched to those of the new quantum mechanics. After all, Schrödinger's equation is a wave equation that describes particles represented by matter waves. Solving this equation allows a substance to calculate what type of wave it has and how it proceeds over time. Schrödinger succeeded in calculating the energy value of a hydrogen atom using his equation. Schrödinger confirmed that the energy of electrons appears constant and discrete, as Niels Bohr stipulated through quantum conditions. In less than a year since then, physicists have confirmed that the wave equation provides the right answer for heavy atoms such as helium atoms. This proves that the wave equation properly describes the physical state of the matter wave, particle. Schrödinger's wave equation was immediately praised by the physical masters of the time, Planck and Einstein. This equation became the basis of quantum mechanics describing the laws of motion in the micro world. Schrödinger later proved that his wave equation was mathematically equivalent to Heisenberg's matrix equation. 
the fact that two completely different mathematical techniques for atomic phenomena are equivalent was surprising and encouraging. This is because physicists I became convinced that these quantum mechanics correctly explained the atomic world. The Schrödinger equation simplified many very complex calculations. Called the Schrödinger equation, or the wave equation, it is considered one of the greatest equations in scientific history, along with Newton's equation of motion. The solution of a wave equation is called a wave function. The Schrödinger equation is a linear differential equation, a differential equation without the square form of a derivative, in which all high derivatives are in the first order, as in the Maxwell equation. One of the important features of this linear differential equation is that it satisfies the principle of superposition. Thus, the wave function, which is Schrödinger's solution of wave equation, describes the superposition of various states. Schrödinger was invited by Professor Sommerfeld in the summer of 1926 to present his wave mechanics at the University of Munich. Schrödinger first used the case of hydrogen atoms as an example of the mathematical principles of wave mechanics, and participants were mesmerized by its simplicity and clarity. Schrödinger also proudly presented a physical interpretation. Heisenberg questioned during the debate, saying that wave mechanics and Schrödinger's interpretation run counter to Planck's blackbody radiation formula. Then senior experimental physicist Wilhelm Wien came forward and expressed faith in Schrödinger saying that the difficulties raised by Heisenberg will soon be resolved. In addition, Wien said, now quantum jump is not even worth discussing, and matrix mechanics has come to an end. Even Sommerfeld, Heisenberg's teacher and favorable to matrix mechanics, was mesmerized by the mathematical convenience of the Schrödinger equation. Schrödinger was in the spotlight, and wave mechanics seemed to have emerged as a new alternative, beating matrix mechanics. Schrödinger believed that the concept of matter waves could eliminate difficulties and contradictions in wave mechanics such as quantum leap. Like electromagnetic waves and sound waves familiar to humans, matter waves should be intuitive phenomena in space and time, and quantum leap, or discontinuity, would completely disappear from theory, Schrödinger thought. In accordance with this belief, Schrödinger attempted to completely abolish the concept of quantum leap and replace electrons in atoms with three-dimensional waves of matter. He obtained the result that the energy level in hydrogen atoms appears as a natural frequency of stable matter waves. So he came to believe that calling it energy is an error, not energy, but a frequency. Contrary to Schrödinger's mixed anticipated thinking, however, wave mechanics revealed clear limitations. Wave mechanics, which viewed electrons as matter waves, could not explain the Compton effect and the photoelectric effect in addition to Planck's blackbody radiation. In addition, the trajectory of electrons appears in the fog box, which is far from a wave. In particular, Schrödinger, who attacked matrix mechanics, saying that this could not have an image of electrons by ignoring electron orbitals, was embarrassed when his wave mechanics fell into the same situation. In other words, when two electrons are represented by the Schrödinger equation, it turns out that they have to imagine infinite dimensional waves, such as six-dimensional waves and three electrons becoming nine-dimensional waves. Eventually, it became impossible to have an image of electrons. This must be contradictory to Schrödinger's original premise that the electron wave was an actual wave. Max Born tried to compensate for this fatal weakness through probability analysis, probability wave, of the wave function. Controversy has begun over the probability analysis of the wave function, which has a lot of talkative and ill-tempered. To be continued to Quantum Odyssey 6 thanks for watching.